So all they need is to realize that they've heated up and they're, they're on fire. And, you know, Classic's going to find themselves in a position where they're going to have to play flawless Halo. And I'll tell you what, Shig is heating up right now. He had the double, looked like he had the overkill set up for him. Wisely, Scott, you know, ungreedy. Great play out of Shig. He left those last two kills, let Soldier clean up the easy double. And now we're watching as Tzoxic is running the flag into his base and he hasn't been shot once. Yeah, this is a nice counter. This is a nice comeback right here from Classic. That's exactly what they need to do. Nice execution. And Tzoxic, a guy who you'd expect to be doing some covering fire, he's the one running the flag back. They just know they need to score some flags no matter how they do it. We got Tzoxic sitting up top B. Looks like he's going to be the last member alive. Goseami picking up a kill off the respawn, and Chig is there to support him on B side. So what looked like a terrible spawn trap was sprung open by Goseami. Nice play by him, so clutch. And now final boss, they have to worry about the other players spawning on A side. And Tzoxic, nice job to stay alive here. Now he's going to try and set up top A here, Scott. And if he goes top middle, things could look bad for final boss. Yeah, Tzoxic isn't the player who really likes to go top middle. He's more of a, I'm going to go in your base, get on the top of the box, and start spawn killing you. And it looks like it worked. He picked up two kills, injured the third, and that opened up an opportunity for Gosiami to run this flag. He has no shield, but he has confidence in his support, and he's going to run it bottom B. Awesome decision making by Gosiami and great cover fire by Chig and Soldier. Wow, he got that flag further than I thought he would, and that leads to a cap, three to two. Great teamwork right there at a Classic. I guess the momentum shift before it even happened, guys. I'm real proud of myself. Let's jump back on board with Final Boss, so they are all encroaching on this Classic base. Let's jump on board with Victory X. His battle rifle is hot. I like that SAT word right there, encroaching. Nicely done. I did go to high school. <laughs> Twice. All right, Ogre 2 running the flag bottom. B, it looks like, and final boss is moving in flag number four. Just when you think Classic's right back in there and they've got the momentum and map control, final boss comes back and they're now one cap away from closing this out. Final boss does a great job at getting Classic out of the power positions. Every time they spawn, you see them nade top metal and that's what you need to do. All right, and we got Ogre 2 pushing in the base right now. Meanwhile, we're watching Tot sitting up top middle. Ogre 2 is going to be taken down four to two with six, seven minutes left in regulation time. Great long range shots by Tots, staying alive, letting his shields recharge, and now he's going to put shots on the two players top B. You know, it's, it's really interesting because this tournament, we have a, we have a new award that we're looking to give. I think if you were here for the opening, you saw the Matador was here to announce it. We're looking for the players who make the most bold moves throughout the course of the weekend to give their teams the advantage and the, and the upper hand and get them a victory. Not necessarily a tournament victory, but just a player who's, you know, the guy who, who's bold and just won't back down. And it's amazing because I'm seeing guys who I remember from back in the Halo 1 and Halo 2 days really stepping up again. But Ochre 2 seems to be playing better today than I saw on Friday without a doubt and more consistently so far in this series and the previous series than I saw yesterday. And Ghost dropping a, a kill tack? I mean, come on, that was nuts. Oh, I'm sorry. Killing riot. Frenzy. Riot. Killing frenzy. frenzy, yeah, Killing that's right. Yeah, all I still medals. call it a riot, whatever. You old school Halo 1 noob. All right, Ghost Ayami running the flag. Check this out, guys. Just when we thought Final Boss was going to close out the game, Classic comes right back. It's now 4-3. to three. I'm getting excited. The loser's bracket finals, Classic Final Boss, and Classic, if they can come back in this game Sundays, they will be just one game away from meeting up with Instinct once again in the finals. But Victory X is trying to make sure that doesn't happen as he's running flag number five. Yep, and the flag's in a good position right here. I think this one may be over. There's the heretic oh. toss up to Ogre 2, but Ogre 2 is stopped. Tots misses the mid-air beatdown, and we have the return from Classic. Great play from Soldier. Soldier really playing some solid Halo today. And Soldier 187, he's one of those guys you don't really talk about enough. He's just one of those consistent support players who is always there getting the W. And that is something I've seen in all of the teams we had in our top four this weekend, guys. It's not the teams with the main slayers, the flashy guys. It's the teams that are just consistent and do everything for the win. And it's totally working out for both Final Boss and Classic here on the main stage. And we're going to watch as Soldier is going to be working with not only Ghost Dayami, but he's also got Shig behind him trying to go up A. He's going to take all the firepower, but that's going to open up an opportunity for Ghost to make his way top A. And Ghost is going to stay up top A rather than pushing in on the FE base. I think he's looking out for a player trying to sneak in for his flag. And he's finally going to be taken down. Let's jump back on board with the final boss team. It looks like they just won all of their individual battles there. Fear itself and Ogre 2 working together with Victory over on B-side. 
Victory picks up the double. Fear picks up the kill on Ghost Yami. That's going to be four dead, and we got Victory running the flag bottom middle. This could He's be it, unless we have amazing grenades. Tzoxic's taken down three still dead for Classic, and that's going to be the game. Oh, man. Final boss closes that one out. That was a great finish for them. So final boss showing they have life and they were led by their captain and oldest member of the team, Ogre 2, who drops not only 30 kills, but 27 assists to go plus 10. And Victor X is right behind him with 28 kills and a plus 13 ratio. Final boss definitely bouncing back from that game number five. That was game number six. We're going to a quick commercial break and when we come back, you'll see game number seven.